Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to actually create a grouped frequency table. I'll be using the H to do that. And there are two different ways of accomplishing this. At the moment H, as you can see in the data, are just numbers. And I like to group them. Now one way of doing that is to go for transform and then visual binning. It's the H I want to bin continue. I need to give it a new name for that. So let's say H and then uh, underscore cat or categories. There are two ways of doing this, smaller than or equal to or smaller than for the groups. I like to use the excluded one. Then make cut points. Now uh, from this I can see it starts roughly at 7 and it ends roughly at 90. So let's say I want my first cutoff point to be at 10 and I want 9 groups. Now as soon as I hit tab it will actually give the width for each class. The intervals will always be equal. Um, I could also say no I want to have them all to have a width of 10. Delete this 9 and then as soon as I go back to the width it will fill out that I need 7 cut. Uh, cut points. Click apply. And there are a few different options before I click apply. I uh, actually see those, but this is probably the most basic one. Apply. You can see it actually created the groups, but it's also good to add the labels immediately. So make labels, and then you can actually have nicely the ranges there as well. Click on OK. It will create this one new variable. And indeed, all the way at the end, I now have the H categories. It nicely keeps my missing values option. And if I hit the value labels, I can actually see the categories. That's one way of doing this. Uh, another way is to actually do it manually, uh, not visually. Transform. Recode into different variables. It's the H that I wanted. The name H cat and I have to give it a different name so cat2 age in categories don't forget to hit, hit change when you do this and then I have to fill them all out um, let's start with lowest through so that's up till and including okay uh, 9 um, I think my first cutoff point was at 10, so let's say 9, that will be category number 1, add, then 10 till 19 will be value 2, and 20 to 29 will be 3, and I can keep on doing this, but I'll make life easy for myself and then say simply 30 and older will be 4. Yeah. It's important to actually write this down somewhere because uh, there is no way to actually create labels straight away. Um, system missing. That's all okay. Continue. change just in case click on OK nicely created them now uh, note however that the missing value is actually assigned to category 4 and that now for this one I still need to fill out that group 1 was uh, 0 but under 10 and, and 2 was uh, 10 under 20, 3 was 20, but under 30, and 4 was uh, 30 or more. Okay, I need to copy the missing value, paste, and I actually need to sort descending. It was only one, luckily, so 999, oh, one nine too many, and now it should actually mention that this is the missing value you can see this is slightly more 
work than the other one. And here it is. Copy this part. And here I need to assign 999 also to incomplete or incorrect answer. And hopefully it shows up here as well. Okay, that's uh, one way to create a uh, grouped frequency table. The table itself can be done in any way you would normally generate a frequency table. So just to show you, here we go. And you can see the different frequencies. It's not really possible to also now calculate frequency densities, which is a bit of a pity because they should actually be used um, as soon as you have unequal uh, class widths.